That continues yesterday. It all began behind a cold front. It was raw winds. We had snowflakes more than even rain. We had a couple of sprinkles here and there, but we had those uh, wind driven snowflakes and a little grapple yesterday as well. But right now, some uh, starlight. We've had some moonlight as well. That's our Lewiston Auto camera from CC Heights. Uh, here at the studio, it's 29. It feels a bit colder. Winds uh, fairly light, but enough of a breeze out there that knocks that wind chill down to 24 right now. So rather cold for late April standards. 24 at the airport, the official temperature feels like the teens at this point. Se uh, 27 the current temperature at Dodge Center, 30 in Winona, Mason City, uh, 27 and 25 in Osage. Here in Rochester, some stars and a clear, quiet, Cold morning, 24 right now. Feels like 15. That's a rather cold wind chill index, to say the least. Right now, the winds at west at 8 miles per hour. Skies have been generally clear for several hours now. The southward, there is some snow going on behind the cold front that swept their area. The snow building in from Kansas is going to work its way through uh, Missouri, eventually into central and western Illinois. The possibility there of one to three inches of snow farther southward. Central Missouri may end up with four or five inches of snow out of the storm system. So all that activity going on south of us, we're missing that. We're dealing with cold starlight now. There will be some more energy rotating around the backside of the storm system that moved to the area yesterday, very early pre-dawn yesterday, and we'll see some more of that energy uh, generating the possibility of some isolated showers and maybe a couple of snowflakes later today. 24 right now in Rochester, it's 27 in International Falls, Green Bay 28, Lincoln, Nebraska 36. We're all looking rather cold for this time of the year. Typically, it'll be closer to 40 to start the day. Future track, high-res computer model, quiet in the morning. We build things up, though, with little daylight, sunshine, surface heating, Cold air loft, there's an instability in the atmosphere. So now for that cold air loft, they start seeing clouds blooming and developing. And then we see these little spotty showers developing between noon, 1 or 2 o'clock. And they go off and on throughout the afternoon. Little uh, scattered showers and a couple of snowflakes. They'll drift in from northwest to southeast and taper off just after sunset this evening. So don't be surprised if we see some more sprinkles and flurries for the second half of today. 26 for that morning commute. Cold sunshine for the time being. A northwest breeze keeps that wind chill to single digits and teens uh, looking forward the rest of the day. The day planner looking at some showers and sunshine at times this afternoon. 40 degrees by 2 o'clock. Again, the overall high 42. So one degree better than yesterday and the winds around 5 miles per hour lighter. So wind chill index levels a little better, but that's about the only difference and a little more sunshine today, but definitely another cold one for this time of the year. Almost 20 degrees sub seasonal average uh, wind chill levels in the mid 30s. So not quite the 20s we had all day yesterday, a little better in that regard, but definitely feeling rather chilly. Uh, high temperature today on the way to the 40s wind chill indices in the 30s. Looking at some scattered clouds and we see spotty showers popping up for the afternoon and early evening. They fizzle out that we lose that daytime heating the clouds dissipate another wave of energy tomorrow generates more spotty showers midday and early afternoon. Then we start seeing improvement. High pressure for the west brings a quieter a stretch of weather and some southwesterly winds drawing in warm air for Thursday. And there's our chance to get close to 60 with the day with less wind and more sun Thursday, the driest day of the next several showers often on the Friday, especially in the afternoon and the evening and a slight chance of a shower too on Sunday. The weekend otherwise looking mostly dry and seasonably a cool 40s and low 50s, but definitely warm than what we're experiencing today or tomorrow. And early next week, a chance of maybe getting back into the 60s. Today, partly sunny, a chance of showers, perhaps a couple of snowflakes, uh, 42 the high, uh, almost 20 degrees below 60. That would be the climate standard for this time of the year. Tonight, partly cloudy, a frigid night, a light northwest breeze, 25. And a seven-day forecast, we have temperatures in the 40s for another day tomorrow. Then we're back to the 50s and eventually shooting for the 60s by early next week. So going in the right direction, but taking a very long time to get there, Byron. If you put your heavy coat in the closet after warmer temperatures, you might want to go get it once again with a return to more winter-like temperatures. Yeah, definitely the next couple of nights especially looking pretty cold. Okay, thank you.